reasons why you need to start running day 13 of the TFN health challenge at the beginning of 2018 I ran my first marathon it was quite the physical and mental challenge notice how I mentioned the mental aspect as well many people know that running helps you lose weight and sweat out bad toxins but how often do we talk about the mental benefits of running well, I have personal experiences that I want to share with you so you can start running right away. The process of preparing for a marathon was long and a bit grueling at times. I ran four to five times a week for about two months prior to the event. Some days I ran two miles, some 12, a couple days were over 20 miles, and some days were sprints. Sure, my body was slimming down, but that was expected. The reason I was really running a marathon was to test my mind. I cannot express to you how much information I was able to take in while I was deep into my training routine. The running was reducing my stress and clearing up mental blocks that tend to pop up from normal day-to-day -day life, which made reading and studying much easier. Sure, I was often sore, but I didn't have any obligations that were requiring my muscles to be fresh. Let's look at the science that explains why running has such positive cognitive effects. Benefits of running. It decreases stress. Running allows you to think about stressors while you are in a peak awareness and heightened mental state. Running increases heart rate and is a strong technique for strengthening the heart. All of that increased heart health boosts the amount of blood that gets sent to the brain, improving overall brain function. So let's recap that. While you're running, you can take all of your baggage with you and you can take the trash out, <laughs> essentially, right? So you're sweating out the toxins, those are leaving your body, you're increasing the flow of blood up to your brain, your awareness is heightened, you know, you're taking in the scenery as you go if you're running outside, which I always recommend if you can run outside, run outside, get that fresh air, you know, hit the pavement, hit the dirt, hit the trail and get going. It's much better and healthier than just hitting the treadmill. But if the treadmill is the only option, then stick with that as well. So you're taking your trash out, you're in a heightened awareness state and you're kind of going over and mulling over the different stressors in your life. And as you're doing that, you're able to come up with solutions. You know, oftentimes if I was running for, say, 20 miles, I had a long time just me, myself, and I. I would put my ear phones in I would listen to very very calming music sometimes it didn't even have any words I would just listen to calm remedies because I wanted to encourage thoughts to pop up in my mind because I knew that that was a really really quality time where it was just me and my thoughts and steady breathing okay moving on it increases mood Running increases neurotransmitter activity like dopamine and serotonin that improve cognitive ability and it improves immune system. Running increases the flow of fluids in the lymphatic system that helps fight bacteria and viruses. So there are many additional benefits of running. However, those improvements that are mentioned above can relate to everyone male or female young or old so I encourage you to get up and start running your mind and body will appreciate it especially if you're in a very stressful point in your life don't rely on pharmaceutical drugs don't rely on alcohol don't rely on binge eating or watching Netflix I encourage you give running a shot even if it's less than a mile it might be, you know, one-tenth of a mile. Just get out there, you know, open the lungs up, get the blood flowing, and just let those stressors release. Stay tuned for tomorrow.